guys, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I feel like every time about this time of the year, I get the itch to go shopping. If you go back to like the history of my channel, I have fall fashion launching at this time of the year every year, which yay for being consistent, I guess. Today, we're kind of doing a little bit different. We have two fall fashion boxes. I've got front door fashion and I have trunk club. Both of these received the exact same profile completion. Like I told Trunk Club the same things I told Front Door Fashion. I need some really cute fall outfits, considering it is Texas and we rarely get that cold, that transition good between work and kids. And I'm waiting to see what they do. I wanted to be able to show you both boxes. These are my two favorite clothing subscription boxes. I put them like this because they're not recurring. I just let them know when I have a box and they ship it so I don't have to worry about auto renewals. They both have the same price point, $50 plus. This came in my last front door fashion box. I think this shirt was around the $40 range and the pants were around the $100 range. One of my all time favorite outfits to wear. Super comfy, can go play with the kids at the park or I can run into a meeting. Because I want to show you in detail each box, I'm gonna set this trunk club box to the side and I'm gonna unbox this separately in a second video. I'll link that up here once it is done. Both boxes have zero styling fees. If you have a Nordstrom credit card, you get your trunk sent to you for free with no styling fees. With Front Door Fashion, they never ever charge styling fees. They do place a retainer or deposit against your credit card for $100 to ship the box, but if you don't purchase anything, they give you 100% of that money back. If you do purchase something, they take that first $100 and credit it towards your item. They're really, really good at customer service. I think the two biggest distinguishing things is Nordstrom Trunk Club is a computer algorithm. A strong one, a good one, backed by great brands, but it is a computer. Front door fashion is 100% hand curated. To get this box, I text message with my stylist, Rachel, who has been my stylist for years, and she built out the box in each piece, knowing what I have in my closet and where my closet wants to go. I have to show you this, I have to show you. So you get this fancy swancy box, right? All of the information and all of the clothes. And shoe guide, how to wear the outfits and everything is in here. All of the outfits are here. And let me tell you, you reveal the outfits like this and it is thought free. So the style card back there, which I'll show you in a bit, breaks down each outfit, but each outfit is rubber band together in a group of which items you mix and match. And as you can see on the hangers, here is a sweater, here is a shirt, there are the pants that go with it. This is the perfect subscription. If you wanna dress great, but you just can't quite see it on your own, they make it 100% thought free. One of my favorite things, and I, I feel like I can dress myself decently, but I love that I don't have to worry about that because they will do it. Hey guys, make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to get $50 credit to go shopping at Front Door Fashion. Outfit one is all of my fall dreams come true. Like you guys, this is amazing. To give you a little bit of an example of how this works, this is the page that has all of the information about my outfit. It literally tells me how to put it on. Here I have the beach lunch lounge white button down, plus the autumn cashmere sweater vest, plus a frame coated tobacco cropped flare. Sweater vests are a huge trend going into fall and I absolutely adore this one from autumn cashmere for you due to its crop length, versatile ivory color, and a pop of trendy neon. Layer this vest over the lightweight white beach lunch lounge button down. Pair this combo with spandex leggings, which she already knows I have in my closet, blue skinny jeans, which she also knows I have a lot of in my closet. Keep the look modern and casual by pairing it with sneakers or dress the outfit up with wedges or a heeled booty. If I choose to opt out of these pants, she's already giving me two other pant options just to keep the top score. <laughs> I love this, you guys. This is look number two, the Grayland sweater. And she said, how stinking cute is this sweater from Grayland? It won't break the bank and it will easily pair with any of your favorite dreams. Dress it up or dress it down once the weather cools off. 
this is a great option to grab and go. This is all one piece. The sleeves, the sweater, this is not two separate looks. This is one look. I grabbed my favorite bells because these are like my go-to, but like this is so cute. And I would not pick this up. Like this is not an item when walking through Nordstrom that I would normally grab, which is one of my favorite aspects about having a personal stylist. I always am stretched to go a little bit beyond what I normally would. And sometimes it's a win like this is, and sometimes it's a fail and it's no harm, no foul. Bad as this might sound, I'm like more willing to try crazy things when my stylist sends them than on my own time. Because when I'm running around from store to store, I feel drained of energy, I feel drained of time, and I wanna make sure every piece I buy, I'm getting the best bang for my buck because I'm running around, I'm spending all this time. However, when my stylist sends me stuff, I've invested no time and I've invested no money. So I'm willing to try crazier things, do crazier things, but I literally have saved so much time and am trying something I wouldn't normally try. This Graylin Nina Knit Overlay Poplin Sweater is extra small, $101. Totally worth it to me. This is one of those girlfriend calls and says, hey, can you meet me in 20 minutes for coffee? And I say, but of course I can. The sleeves do unbutton so you can roll them, which is one of my favorite things to do. And I will cuff it up for like a poof sweater and then layer a ton of bangle bracelets down my arm. I guess a little bit like this. Just stack them on. It's a really quick, easy on the go look. You could even put in a fun necklace if you wanted to. I probably would do more of a delicate chain. Yeah, like this. So my go-to look. Here's another little tip. Don't be afraid to really talk with your stylist. I tell them things I like. I tell them things I do not like. I screenshot, as you can see right here, this is from their Instagram, encircled the shoes that I like to kind of show what styles I'm leaning towards right now, maybe what things I specifically want sent in my box. I send all of these via text message. Now you don't have to text message. Rachel asked if I would like to text message. I said yes, and that's how we've chosen to communicate. But if you go up here, I even sent to Rachel two outfit looks that I absolutely love. So when she's looking around, she can emulate them. And the very first outfit you guys saw me in when this video launched is from these style inspirations you're seeing here. Another thing you'll see that I do with my stylist is, as you can see here, I sent this Instagram page to her and said, this is who I wanna be when I grow up. And it leads over to In The Fro. In The Fro is one of my all time new favorites. I stalk everything she does. I love every outfit that she wears. Her wall is just gorgeous. So if you're looking through this here, you can see that it's a very clear defined style. And I was able to share that with my personal stylist that, hey, although her budget's a little bit bigger than mine, her lifestyle's a little more lavish than mine. In the end, I want the Texas mom version of these looks right here. Look at these pants. You guys, everything in me, like everything in me is like, you have to keep these. Like these are truly unique, fun pants. And then the other half of me is like, what are you ever gonna wear these pants? Like, <laughs> also just so you'll know, it took me like 15 minutes to get these spandex Spanx pants on. <laughs> okay, so the velvet heart indigo button down and the Spanx printed legging. Sam, I know you aren't the biggest fan of animal print, which is true. However, I still love this pair of printed spank leggings for you due to the texture and neutral colors. I thought they'd complement your red hair and easily pair back to any of your favorite neutral shirts or sweaters. Dress them up with the indigo button down and brown boots. And so that's what I have here. I love this indigo button down. Like this is like such a Samantha shirt. I don't know about the pants. What do I do about the pants, y'all? You have to tell me. Part of me is like, I'm gonna be missing out if I don't keep these wild and crazy pants. And sure, I may not be able to wear them all the time. And sure, they may be when I go out with my hubby five to six times this fall, winter. But I feel like they're such a statemental go out pant. I typically don't like this portion of things to show. I usually like the shirt to come down like to right about there and cover. So I don't know if maybe that would help me if I had a slightly longer shirt that covered that part. Maybe that would help. I do love the split back on this top. It kind of covers my booty. What do y'all think? Let's talk price. Velvet Heart Riley Button Up in Indigo is $84. And the Spanx Faux Leather Shine Legging in Mocha Snake Print 
is $98. So we're talking about a $200 outfit with tax. What do we think here? To help me better digest the shirt, because the pants were just so wild, I put this shirt on with just a regular pair of jeans I have, and just did an easy front tuck. Obviously, the sleeves can come down as well to create a full long sleeve, or even a loose sleeve like this. I think this shirt is a great basic item. What do y'all think? Kinda cute. It's super soft and comfy. And I happen to like shirts that have the button down with the layer on top so you can't see the button. It's just a little bit different since I wear so many button downs because I love. This outfit literally makes me wanna go. <laughs> I don't know why, I love it. I think this is so cute. I am super wild about the top. I love the fit. I normally make fun of sleeveless turtlenecks because it feels silly but I happen to like this one, it's extremely soft. The skirt, I can't tell, it's definitely a little big. Like I have to keep shimmying it up as I walk and you can see right here on the edges, my lack of booty hips is causing some pooching right here because there's nothing filling it out, which is so frustrating. I think I need to like up my squat game or something because we're struggling in that department. But as an outfit as a whole, I think this is so cute, you guys. Come fall, layer a black moto or your white tweed moto jacket on top to complete the look. The skirt is only $58 and the top is $68. And then to show you said tweed jacket, look, I got this tweed jacket, which I absolutely freaking love in my fall 2020 front door fashion. So when she built out this outfit, she remembered sending this to me last time and built this outfit with this look. I'm telling you, this is not some computer algorithm. The difference in having a stylist who knows you, knows your loves and hates, and knows what's in your wardrobe is a game changer. So only the top from this outfit is from this box. These leggings she sent to me last year in one of my, I don't know which box, and these are the regular black spank leggings, and they are amazing. But this top, it is so cute, so, so cute. For a rich color in fall, this burgundy Veronica M blouse is perfect for nicer events in the cooler months. Picture it for a holiday party. Tuck it into a black wrap skirt like the one I just had on. Style it with faux leather Spanx leggings or front tuck it into blue, black, or the camel coated frame jeans from earlier. Glam up this blouse with sparkly jewelry or shoes. I just threw on a black shoe. But this necklace is a sparkly necklace and I think it looks so pretty with this top. One thing that's kind of cool about these tops is they have this stretchy, right? So you can wear it all the way down if that's the look you're wanting. You also can scrunch it up and puddle the sleeve back down for more of a three quarters look and let it puddle down for a higher look. These have really great adjustable sleeves. So sometimes I like to stack bracelets. This dress is so soft. It is so floaty and so comfortable. It's so funny because looking at this dress, like this is so me. But for some reason, I don't know why I'm not like super over the top in love with it. I feel like I should be. Don't, this this is kind of wonky right here because I do have this, look, the belt tag right there. So maybe I just drop that down. I like the sassiness of the skirt. I love the 80, is it Ada or ADA belt? I have another one of these that it's those belts that can be styled like 30 different ways with one belt and they really can be, they're awesome. I, it's comfortable, it's soft. I don't know, I'm not like clencher in love with it though, but I feel like I should be. What do y'all think? I don't have a cute necklace on, but imagine if I had a cute necklace or a big fun earring, a leather earring. I have lots of leather earrings. You could wear this with tennis shoes. You could style this belt a bunch of different ways. If you take the belt off, it's still pretty flirty and fun, casual, easy. And then the belt, I don't know, it's ADA. And literally it says 30 ways to style your belt and there's a little how-to on here. But people have even expounded upon that. And I have another one of their belts. It's a big wrap belt that I wear all the time. It can be styled a bunch of different ways. This one actually has snaps all the way around. So you could wear it on your hips, you could wear it on your waist, you could wear it wherever, and literally just snaps to create a circle. So it fits a lot of different sizes. It's easy to share with girlfriends, 
these belts are pretty nice to have. The Veronica Hart Brie shirt dress is only $84 for an entire dress. I don't know you guys, vote, help me. So here's the other belt by that same brand and it's thicker in the center and skinnier so there's a lot of different ways you could tie it. But what if we do the same concept with a slightly thicker belt, maybe. So like literally I could stop here and do a fun tie of some sort here or you can keep wrapping and do a fun tie in the back. Do we like it more with the thicker camel belt maybe? Does that create a different look? I mean, it's still cute. Definitely very country, which is kind of cute. I'm digging that. Y'all tell me below, is this dress a keep or not a keep? This dress, you guys, is absolutely divine against my skin. It feels so good. It's just a very simple but chic wrap dress. I I love it. I love it. I love the color. I love everything. I paired it with a nude boot, but she said you could also pair it with a heeled brown boot. Um, I could also see this with a couple of pair of sandals in the spring. I feel like this is a dress that's very versatile. It's by a brand called Caballero Collection. I believe that's how you pronounce it and it's $265. Only because of budget, I'm gonna pass on this guy. And actually that might not be true. Like I can tell there is a huge material difference. This is a wonderful material. But this cut in style address, I feel like is all over Target right now, which makes it a little bit harder to splurge on this piece when I can get one at Target for 35. Of course, the material will not be this nice. I'm feeling torn on this, but I don't think this is a splurge item, but oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I told you at the end, we would chat a little bit more about how front door fashion itself works. So if you're like, hey, I'm loving what I'm seeing. I'm loving the time savings. I'm loving how cute the fashion is. Here's how you sign up. You go down below and use my URL. It's gonna give you $50 to go shopping with by signing up. It is a little wonky, so you sign up, you're gonna get your box. When you go to check out is when your $50 credit's gonna show up, but trust me, it'll be there. I've been using the same referral code for years now. So you get $53 to shop with. There is no style fee. They will put a $100 deposit against your credit card to ship you clothes. For this alone, I got in this box 12 items at $1,382. So a measly $100. <laughs> hold on my card to ship these things. I feel like it's really, really fair. On the things you wanna keep, you're just gonna put a check mark in the box. Outside of the box, I put notes because I like my stylist to see my notes. I like to reference my notes. The items you wanna keep, you're done. You go put them in your closet. The items you don't, you're gonna pack away and I'll show you how easy it is to do that in just a bit. Other things I wanna share with you is this is a non-recurring women's clothing box. So it's not a typical subscription. When you want a box, you log in and let them know. They have an easy website to use. I text message with my stylist. It also is very mobile friendly. They say the average clothing item is about $100 each on their like FAQ. But as you can see from the price points here, I had several items in the $60 range all the way up to the $250 range. You do get to designate your budget. So when I get into like the holidays and I'm wanting some more curated niche items, I can up my budget. But when it's like middle of the summer and I'm just really needing some t-shirt and shorts, I can bump that budget down. Be really specific in your communication with them, whether you're emailing with them or text messaging them, however you're putting in your requests, let them know where the gaps are. Because at first, any new relationship, right, y'all do not know each other. So you're gonna have to build that relationship. But once it's built, like mine is with Rachel, I don't have to tell her much of anything other than, hey, check out this Instagram or I wish I was. I would like some clothes like that and done. She starts curating everything based on what's in my closet and knowing where I'm going. They range in sizes from zero to 12, which is about an extra small to large. I can say um, I am five foot four and a half, almost five five. I weigh 106 pounds and I am definitely on the small side. Rachel has to like double down and really curate for me uh, as I'm definitely on the leaner end of things. If you're a little bit bigger than me, all the way up to large, you're gonna be in heaven because they have a huge collection for you guys. I have been with Front Door Fashion since 2016, I believe. If I can find one of my original unboxing videos, which by the way are so embarrassing. I'm gonna link it up here so you can see. This is a company that has stood the test of time. They are not new to this game. They know how to care for you well, and I give them a huge thumbs up.
Okay, while I was packing up the things that I'm gonna return, all these thoughts flooded my mind. If you keep the whole box, you get 10% off the total. They also do a keep five items, receive $20 in perk credit. So you get perks by shopping on double points days, you get perks by referring a friend, you get perks by keeping five items. So you can bet your booty when I was going through and counting, I made sure I kept at least five items from the box. The beauty about trying all of this on in your home is it's not like you're up at a store with their lighting and their mirrors and their salespeople breathing down your neck. I try on all of these items with my existing wardrobe. Then I walk around my house to make sure I feel good. It is the best way to shop. So here are the items that I know I don't want. I put them back in the clothing bag because I feel like shipping companies are crazy and anything I can do to help protect the clothes I wanna play a part of. So I put the clothes back in the bag, take the bag, put it in the box, take the receipt where you checked to mark the items that you wanna keep and put it in the box. I take this and take a picture of it with my cell phone so I have a digital copy. You don't have to do that. You can go online and do everything. It's just the way I've done things. So this goes inside here and then you literally close up your box. Use the two strips of tape that they provide for you to seal your box. Slap the label that they provide for you onto the box and you're done. You can call for a FedEx pickup or drive around the corner and drop it off at your local FedEx. It is really that simple. And voila, that is my front door fashion haul. I could not be more pleased. So I kind of feel like the bar's been set high for Trunk Club. Hopefully they knock it out of the park. But that video will be coming next. I hope that you guys have an amazing fall and I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.